Good evening ladies and gentlemen, as we enter Gran Turismo today, we're on the way to conclude a little race series. As you can see at the top of the screen we've got the wrong car, so let's just pick the right one. We've done the 92 version of this car, we've done the 02 version of this car, and we're on our way to do the NSX 17 with a special livery created by GTP Addictions and this one's been customized up to 650 brake horsepower so let's let's get over to the race we all know we're going to the Tokyo 600 we've been doing a lot the last couple of days this will be something like video number seven on this prac on this process in the last two weeks so it's probably time for a little bit of a break but it doesn't matter in the end because the way it's going to work is somebody's going to be searching for these in the future and it's only if you are um, a regular viewer and you watch everything that come down that this will probably be a little bit boring and I apologize for that it's not boring if you're into it so let's go and have a look at the settings 600 pp or less so it's on sports hard tires and we're at 599.97 and let's just discuss standard wheels made wide they are the normal size no changes front lip front splitter side skirts the rear balance is not the fancy one but the high level wing on the back there is no cage either so sports tires as hard tires as we said fully customizable suspension everything default fully customizable diff downforce tuned to make the um the performance points Fully customizable ECU set to 100, ballast non, power restrictor at 100, transmission manual set to 350. Hmm, don't like the look of that. I'm going to just knock that down to 340 because looking at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there seems to be an overdrive up there 7th which will, which will take us to heaven and back. We'll see. So we've got no nitrous, of course. No turbocharger, no anti-lag. Intercooler is normal, even though we've got... Well, we haven't bought anything else, there's no point. Racing air cleaner, racing silencer, racing manifold. Racing slotted disc, racing brake fads. Brake controller currently set to the front all the way. Racing clutch and flywheel, and we've just got the increased body rigidity. You can mess with that however you want. 650 brake horsepower compared to everything else that we've had. We shall see. So 12 laps to Tokyo. Settings, assists, trash control one, default ABS, and I do have counter steer assistance on strong. We all know why. We've done the car settings, it's controller settings I want, come on. Open button configurations, max torque feedback five, force feedback sensitivity six. Not a lot to do and say here folks. It, I've never tried this before. This is gonna be a first time it. As you can see, we're less than 17 million credits, so we've spent a fair whack on this car. Let's see where she goes. It looks like it's got... Uh, an electric assistance, doesn't it? Remember the last time we used this car? We actually used it at... Um, a time trial event is it gonna get us to 200 it looks like it needs reducing whoa it's long on the second gear braking somebody's on the outside very long in the gears We're up to 7th place. Oh. Yeah, those gears are way too long. Fuel looks all right though to do the six laps. Mm. 
Mr. Sus Willow just runs it wide round the outside. We're struggling as well. No, you can't do it this way, folks. We have to. Uh, we have to leave, and we're going to have to do it all again. I need to go to settings, and I need to change that down to probably something like 310. Let's see how we go. So the last time we used this car, can we remember when it was? It'll have been a time trial at Daytona. And it was an absolute horrendous thing to turn at high speed under braking. But we managed, did we manage gold? I think we did manage gold. It was all about that first turn. Seventh gear. She steers fairly well. Lots of wear on the rear. Fuel doesn't look fantastic. Five point two. This will be why Mr. Gallo has to pit twice, one would suggest. Fuel's coming back. We're just going to short shift it marginally. We need five laps when we go past the start finish straight. We just rub the wall. But we're up to fourth. Rub the wall again, that's two hits. Three hits. Not hit another car though, we're a bit slow through there. We're 3.8 seconds behind Mr. Gallo. We're going to break somewhere on the 175, I think, just to make sure we can get in there. Oh, we go deep, we go deep. I did lift, but... She still feels very long in the gears. I think I'm going to show you all of this, folks. I think I'm going to show you just what it takes. Sometimes we get it wrong when I jump into it. Five laps. Are we going to have enough fuel, he thinks? 4.9. I think we'll have enough fuel to get us to the pit stop at lap six. We're going to go into second place. We're not using the slipstream. We're in eighth, seventh gear, 195. Feels like we need some more. 200, there it is. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. We just touched the wall. Oh, I need to brake earlier than that. Not fantastic brakes. Lots of bouncing off the wall. It probably needs one more bit of gears. Burning a lot of fuel. Do we think we've got enough fuel to get round? Tyres are looking okay. Turned in too early. Another touch on the wall. First lap was a quick one. We are catching him. So I think we could actually do with 320 on the gears. We'll just have to see where we are on fuel. Just breaking before the 175. Doesn't want to turn in, but... There's 
There is no nitrous or electrical assistance. We're not getting anything there. 4.1 on the fuel. See if we can short shift a little bit just to try and save them. 4.0. When it goes to 4.9, we run out. We're all right. That's 2.12 on the second lap. That's pretty decent. We're going to burn a lot of fuel down here purely because of the way we're bouncing off the rev limiter. 200 mile an hour. A break before. So we're with Mr. Gallo now. See if we can chase him down. She's pretty tight. When you get the right gears, she's pretty cool. We're one second behind, 3.4 seconds ahead of Suswillow. It's all under control at this point when we're hovering on Mr. Gallo's rear wing. We will just try and lift and shift a bit shorter. Just try and short shift a bit. Try and conserve as much fuel as we can. I'm going to break on the 175. A custom gear setup would be nice. We are much quicker than the last lap. We could be in the 210 range already. Have we got his draft? 3.0 on the fuel, we're doing okay. There's a 2.10 already. It's a quick car. Well, we know that. We've been racing Gallo and he's been doing 2.09s. So, set up. We're in first place now, ahead of Gallo. So, Swillow in third. Hizal in fourth. Bouvoir in fifth. Cookerman sixth. Fraga in seventh. Miazano in eighth. And we really did get a stretch out there on on Gallo. He is... Oof! We didn't get the car to turn. I was looking in the mirror trying to watch Gallo to see how far away he was. But we're doing all right. We're going to have enough fuel to get where we need to get to. Even if we can just play with a bit of lift and short shift and early changing, we'll be... We'll be fine. So there's some, there's some room to play with this setup. Short shift back up to fourth. Doubt that, but it is purple. Happy days, the rear tyres are looking a bit shonky. And we're on hards, and I think he's on mediums. We are going to have to change tyres by the looks of it. But we'll not. We'll not overly worry about that. We've got him well behind us. Let's keep short shifting. It's another faster lap. It isn't so bad, we're doing okay. We're ahead of Gallo now by 3.6 seconds. So Swillow in third, Cookham on fourth, his out fifth, Boubois in sixth, Fraga in seventh, Biazaro in eighth. And I believe this is where the pit stops start to happen. We're in the 210 786s. Is anybody going to take to the pits? He says. No, it'll be the next lap then. I was misinformed. It 
it certainly gets a little bit sideways under braking when it hits the puddles. See if we can put a semi decent quickie lap in. The battery's there to help us, I think. I think that gives us some power, some acceleration, I would suggest. I'm seeing a little red and a little green arrow flashing away. Oh, we just brushed a wall. just starting to ace these laps now we've been doing these a few times over the last couple of days purple by a tenth she's a mover 6.7 seconds in the lead If we can, oh, four tenths up, that'd be a ten three, and then we've got one more lap to go on this fuel. Six point seven seconds in the lead. No discernible change in the backfield. It looks like Mr. Takada has overtaken Mr. Miyazano. So two tenths up. That's a two ten five. We'd love to drop this into the. Uh, into the 209s but we can see Mr Gallo's gone to the pit there we're not going to get a 209 this lap because we are going to pit just need to get control of the nose on the power early 17 seconds in the lead ahead of Mr Suswillo and it's likely we're all going to pit on lap sort of six, doesn't it? We're down two tenths. The rears are starting to just slide a little bit and the old counter steer is starting to really assist. We made up two tenths through that middle sector using the slide to our gan to our bonus to our benefit. You can really get it to move and go. It runs a very very fast power slide. And we're going into the pits this lap. Managed to slow it down quite quickly then. Very long first gear. Up two tenths. That would be a two ten three. As we go charging to the pits, we're going to take all the fuel. It's a heavy drinker. But we are some 23 seconds in the lead. Here we go. Hard tyres. We're going to fuel all the way. And we might have to maintain the short shifting yeah it looks like it's going to need all the fuel starting to hear people going to go past are they going to pit they're going past sus willow cookaboon comes to the pits that means his owl's going to go on six laps of fuel so his owl's coming past us in a very similar way to the NSX 02 but we get take, overtaken by Beauvoir at this point see if we can get some draft I think we're too far back but we're going to break just a wee bit later 
because we didn't have all the full speed from the far corner, did we? New tyres now. Mr. Boubois just braked a little bit earlier than we would have liked. See if we can uh, get alongside him into this corner. We can't. He's just checked on his brakes. Try and get him around the outside. See what we can do. Oh, a little bit of side shuffle. Mr. Hazal next. So Susuillo leads us out. Mr. Hazal less than a second ahead. We're in third place. It's just the pit stop's really getting in the way at the moment. Mr. Boubois in fourth. Mr. Fraga in fifth. A lovely move to get through that gap. He just left enough. Mr. Gallo down there in sixth spot, just recovering from his pit stop. We managed to get in and get out before him. Mr. Miazano on seventh, Mr. Blazan in eighth. So we're in second now, just nine second deficit. What we know is, is they are gonna be pitting this lap we're going to start to set the faster laps one hopes we need to go across the line with five laps of fuel as Sus Willow goes to the pits we're not going to try and short shift it too much 5.1 we're good for fuel so just Mr Gallo behind us then 5.55 seconds and he does have to pit one more time. Everybody else look behind us on the mediums. Blazan comes through. The tax just starting to dry up now. Give it all the power. Five point six seconds ahead of Gallo. Cars like for like. The only difference is the tune of the tyres. We were purple sector by two tenths, but I think I just blew that two tenths through that corner there. It didn't feel like we were on it. Back end starting to move about, or continues to move about. We're six tenths up. There's new tyres for you. This is, should be the first of the 209s. I'm going to break a little bit later into this corner. About the 160 I want to. Get in there quite hot. One point three seconds up. So this is a two oh nine two, maybe. Is this going to be the first car in the two oh eight? that we've seen for a little while there's a 2088 that is really impressive this is a rapido car rapido breaking on the point still purple sector which is great to see Larzan goes to the pits. We are 7.7 .7 seconds quicker. The 208.817, fastest lap. Gallo quaking in our wake. He knows he's got a pit now. We're good for fuel. And the car is just going to get lighter. But there will come a point where we lose the grip on the rear tyres, so... We just have to manage the tyres a little bit to the end. Let's 
see if we can just try not to slide them so much. I don't know if we're still going to main that two tenths lead. I don't know if we will. That two tenths up. Oh, just just a margin ahead. See if we can use all that torque, battery power torque. See if we can get it through, pin through. Come on. I don't know if that'll be quicker. It is. So, 2087 something. Maybe. 3.2 laps of fuel. Just short shift a fraction. An 824 just outside, so we didn't have the same acceleration down the straight, but I did short shift one, so we're okay for the fuel. Gallo goes to the pit, so we are 12.3 seconds in the lead at that point. Believe it or not, that is the same time gap as there was the last lap. So we're doing something exactly spot on the same. 23.6 seconds lead back to Kukabun. Gallos comes out the pits in third. Mr. Solis has made his way up into the leaderboard. Just starting to feel a bit like it's on the edge now. Two and a half laps remaining. Tyres have lost their best by the feel. Just touched the wall. Two tenths up. We were rapido through there. Probably didn't pick the best entry there. Two point four laps on the fuel. I've just got a short shift just to make sure we keep that fuel in line. Breaking on the one seven five. Probably in there a bit hot, but let's see if we can recover it. Got all the power in. We're down. We lost four tenths. Almost half a second we lost through there. And that was that bad line through the S's, but we're still on it. Let's keep going. This is still could be a 209, which is a rapido lap. A 209.007. You can't ask for any tighter than that. Fuel is now good. Let's give it the last two laps. Let's do it. We're 28 seconds ahead of Cookabun. We're a long way off lapping anybody, so we don't have that to look up to. We're going to have nobody in our way. I feel I'm a bit hot at this point. Let's keep going. Didn't see what the purple bit was. Didn't see what we were on the timer, but we'll catch that at the next split. Probably just a fraction slow. It felt slow into T1. Felt slow through T2. Had to lift through T4. We're two tenths up. Let's keep pushing. She ran wide a little bit. I had to check it. Still good, four tenths up. Power down. Rear tyres are now past their best. We're over halfway. Rear left is looking a little bit painful. First gear used to slow the car incredibly. 
back ends coming round on us that was quite quick round there it felt like is this going to be purple it is by two tenths let's give it everything to go on to the final lap 34 seconds ahead we have got a car in our sights he's just turning off the end of the straight I don't think we'll catch him though at this point Oh, where are we going to be on fuel? It looks like it could close. Could be closer. 208.606. That was two tenths faster. 34 seconds ahead. Gallo has yet to overtake Cookabun. So what could we have done slightly differently? Could have slight manipulation of the drivetrain the gears just to try and even out that fuel even though the fuel limit is bang on we could do with a bit of more of a reserve and not have to fuel save at all again I was cons oh we're still a tenth up keep it in fourth we were nice and tight there third gear early big slide we managed to catch it we'll chase down the third again here get the car moving pendulum wise back on the gas it's good it feels good braking in third gear let it go back on the gas catch it and we're purple again by two six this is for the final lap let's see if we can put another quickie in We turned her early, she's good. She actually turns well while she's sliding. So if this can be a 2085, it's tremendous. She's coming in. We had to catch it there. She was sliding way too much with the old counter steer. She's still purple by the old 007. It could be another faster lap. Let's give it all the revs. Could run out of fuel though. We might just run out of fuel. But it's not going to matter. We are some 40 seconds in the lead. We make it through the line with all the gas. But I didn't see what the lap time was. We'll see you there at the end. Massive thank you to JB for the skin. It's a bit of an old one. We used it a long time ago. But it's uh, still a stunning creation. Thank you sir. There she is fastest lap was a 208606 that final lap lap 12 didn't make it through 40 seconds ahead of everybody else and what was the longest car 149 so just 11 seconds shy of lapping did we get the clean race bonus yes we did happy days 825k into the bank takes us back over that 17 million 17 and a half and that should be the ticket for the day another four star happy days and there we have it folks that's the conclusion of a little three car stint nsx 92 nsx 02 nsx 17 and they got faster through the process i apologize for a little bit of a difference in the video today but it's how it happens sometimes i get it wrong and i just wanted to show you that so all the best with that folks thank you for following thank you for supporting We'll see you on the next one. Take care. All the best.